This is a single leg long lever isometric. I love this variation of a 90-90 working on that frontal plane. So we're watching that the hips don't drop. In this position, you're getting a nice release to the front side of the hip, utilizing the glutes and the hamstrings to kind of pull the pelvis underneath us. So great if you live in that more anterior tilted position and also great for getting some posterior expansion and just overall external rotation in the system. So rolling from your side to your back, going in a little bit longer lever, so longer than that 90 degrees, probably around 120. One foot is on the wall, other leg is kind of elevated and hanging out. Starting and kicking off with that ni nice exhalation. You get those ribs down. Exhale from the bottom up, feel those abs. I'm gonna drag down the wall, in this case with my right heel, feel the pelvis kind of pull underneath me as I elevate up off the ground. Play around with your position. Pelvis pulls underneath me. I'm envisioning dragging down the wall with the heels. Really important here that you maintain good foot contact. So maintain contact with that big toe mound and the heel. Watch that the knee doesn't come out to the side and you lose contact with the foot. So pull the knee in, drag down the wall with the heels and maintain good tripod foot connection. In this position, we're gonna think about the glutes working really hard, the pelvis kind of tucking underneath us. My low back is still connected to the ground, but I'm elevating the pelvis just slightly, pulling down the wall with my heel, and I'm taking three to five breaths right here. Wash if this knee doesn't come out and you lose foot contact. Also watching that you're not dropping the hip down. So keep those hips nice and square, pull down the wall with the heel, maintain foot contact. That is your single leg long lever isometric.